So good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, you know, um, I'm humbled every time I come into one of these rooms and actually see people here. Um, I'm just a, I'm just an old carpenter with a bad back, um, and uh, honestly humbled to have so many folks um, showing up to an event like this. So I, I want to say thank you, and I truly, truly do appreciate it uh, very, very much. <clears throat> so tonight, I wanted to talk about um, <clears throat> things that affected me in my trading and what I call time traps. <clears throat> because um, I wasted an awful lot of time. I wasted an awful lot of energy in these time traps and I'm guessing quite a few of you um, have some of you might be involved in that now um, some of you probably um, are participating in these time traps every single day <clears throat> and it doesn't mean that you're a terrible trader or anything like that it means that you know, one of the things I want to do, okay, and I have wanted to, in my entire life, okay, um, I wanted to try and improve myself every day, whatever that might be, um, whatever that endeavor was I was working for in my business, in my personal life, um, marriage, um, everything, I... I am always working to be a better person, okay? A better trader, a better father, a better husband, a better community member, a better person. And I think most of us strive for that, but it gets kind of muddy sometimes when we think about trading. We, we tend to get easily distracted. Anybody in here agree? Um, that you get pretty distracted from time to time in your trading. Um, everyone, everyone's, um, if someone could type in the sound, uh, thank you, thank you, Kevin, sound is good. <clears throat> That's right, squirrel. <laughs> and we're all subject to that. Um, as human beings, we're all subject to those things that get in the way of us being productive in, in our work, in our um, endeavor to be better at what we do. And I just thought I would discuss some of those things. And these are things that really are personal to me, things that really set me back for a long time um, in my in my trading um, so I'm just gonna kind of go down through these and talk about these things that caused me so many problems maybe you're experiencing that and I can give you some ideas on what helped me and uh, things that might help you now one of the things we do as technical traders is we, we tend to be very visual people um, you know, otherwise we'd probably be fundamental traders. Um, you know, we would study the study the um, fundamentals of the company and read the CEO comments and all those kind of things. We'd be more fundamental traders. But we we are naturally um, as technical traders, we're very visual people. We we rely on that chart. As a matter of fact, we we spend an awful lot of time studying that chart and that really comes down to my first time trap one of the things that plagued me for a long long time was over analysis anybody feel like you suffer from that now that it gets to the point where you just can't make a decision you're kind of paralyzed by the analysis there's just too many things out there and and wouldn't you say for some folks that the, the more knowledge that you gained about trading, the worse it got. 
that you may even had some early success in your trading when you knew very little and the more you learned the more knowledge you gained the worse that became hey Nini the worse that became we continue to um, we continue to um, overanalyze all the time. You know, and one of the reasons we do that, guys, is we're looking for assurance. Everyone, um, everyone wants assurance. You know, there's an there's a old saying in the psychology of every person out there, and that is we will do far more to avoid pain than we will to gain pleasure. Would you guys agree with that? We're naturally a risk averse people. We want to protect ourselves and we will do far more to avoid pain than we will to do the things to gain pleasure. Think about it. When you were in school and you were given an assignment of an essay, how many of you put that off until the night before it was due? By the way, my hand is up. <laughs> We could have had the pleasure by getting it done early and not having the stress and all of those things, but we wait, we procrastinate, because what ends up happening is all of a sudden the, the fear of the, the negative, the pain of not getting that paper done, finally motivates us enough to get it done, to complete it. Okay. <laughs> uh, exactly exactly um i don't know if i had about an hour and a half long bus ride from where i lived about an hour and a half long bus ride to my school um there were essays that were completed on the bus ride to school <laughs> and that's no joke so we will do those things far more we will work really hard to avoid pain rather than doing the things that we probably know that we should do to gain the pleasure and that's act more professional and businesslike in our trading right we want we move too quickly sometimes we we prepare or over prepare ourselves to a point um or overanalyze um, a chart or something where all of a sudden we can no longer make a decision because we have inundated ourselves with indicators and criteria and all those kind of things, creating this virtual trap of time. We, we waste tons and tons of time in front of a chart, but we can never get to a conclusion for a trade because we try to be the perfect trader. Right? Isn't that true? None of us want to ever lose money. We never want to lose money. We want a, we want a system that tells us every time I make a trade, I'm always going to be right. We try to protect our ego. Okay? We want to be right. Don't tell me I'm wrong. I want to be right. And so we end up just crushing down and crushing down and crushing down all of these different things to a point that we're just essentially frozen, unable to make a decision, frustrated, completely locked up in trading. I got to tell you guys, there was a period in, in time that that was so bad for me. I would literally make a statement when I'd pull a trigger on the trade, I would say, you know, I'm, I'm going to lose money on this, but I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Anybody ever said that? You know, after the fact, after I started to wise up a little bit, I thought, why in the world would I ever pull the trigger on the trade if I really believe that to be true? Now I'm probably going to lose money on it. Right? So what we have to do is we have to give ourselves a little bit of break and realize that first off, not one of us ever is going to be a perfect trader. 
We are in a risk business. We are going to lose money. It would be kind of like a bareback bronc rider or a bull rider. Those those guys that get on 2,000 pound bulls and think they'll they'll get off of that thing, they'll never have an injury. It's not the way it works. You do battle with a 2,000 pound beast and you're going to have injuries. The same thing is true in the market. We have to give ourselves a break and realize that we're not going to achieve perfection in trading. And that's hard for a lot of people to accept that as we trade, we know we're going to lose money. Okay. But if we make that realization, guys, we can kind of shake off that ego part and say, look, market's not out to get me. What I have to do is design a strategy, put together a plan that gives me a higher than normal expectancy of a win. And that, that's technical analysis. That's following a strategy, a plan. No, no rocket science here. Okay, just putting yourself out there on these, <clears throat> on these trades and avoiding that ego part of it. You know, this is a, a major problem that I deal with when I work with um, traders and coaching. And I work with trader, coaches, you know, I coach folks from all over the place. And the folks that have the biggest problems in trading, they wear that ego around on their sleeve. Like, I'm, gonna, I, I'm the perfect trader. I'm going to be. I have to figure out how to be the perfect trader. And it's never going to be that way. Guys will tend to go to the stubborn side. We'll fight the market. We'll prove. We'll show you that we're right. Women on the other side are more naturally, will more naturally say, I made a mistake. But they will also more naturally pull back and won't take the risk. They will be, they are a group of people that tends to um close down first can't trade too much risk in the market so we have to give ourselves a break with that and the other thing we have to do is we have to clean up our charts i don't care if if you put a dozen indicators on your charts you're going to have a dozen possible contradictions Okay, you're you're going to be constantly locked up in those contradictions. Okay, clean up your charts, build a simple strategy. All right, trading really isn't all that hard when you think about it. Okay, we want to look for a stock that has pulled back or we want to buy low and we we want to sell high. Everywhere we look in the market, there's uptrends. All the time. All the time, there's something uptrending. Same thing is true in downtrends. Almost all the time, there's something downtrending. And yet we battle ourselves trying to think that we can pick bottoms and tops when there's about a million and one different things that could occur that changes that in the blink of an eye, right? We can't pick bottoms, we can't pick tops. Right now our futures are down. Anybody, anybody wanna wager a bet? Nope, nope, they've gone positive. They were down just as I started. Now they're positive. Anyone wanna wager which way we're gonna gap tomorrow morning? like a coin toss right half of you will be right half of you will be wrong so we have to give ourselves a break there and try to simplify simplify our trading to an extent that we can deal with all of the input okay Can, can I tell you 929? <laughs> yeah, you certainly can, Kevin. <laughs> um, 
what about um what about the time trap that often we get involved in as traders is trying to be an expert in all areas of trading does anybody think you can be an expert as a day trader a swing trader a position trader a long-term trader a futures trader a currency trader can you be an expert in all of those at the same time it's absolutely impossible guys but isn't it funny we waste a lot of time trying to perfect or not honing in on one thing right I've told you guys that I've built my career on two of the simplest things in the market I've built my career in following stocks that are trending requiring the stock to prove the trend before I enter a trade I need a pullback to hold it support or I need a stock that moves up and consolidates over to trend and moves up. That's what I do. And for the last 20 plus years, I've worked. That means I wasted about 10 years, by the way. The last 20 years, I've worked to be the very best I can be at those two things. Nothing else to be the best that I can be. I try to eliminate and I actively work to eliminate the distractions in my trading. I want to be the best at something simple. And by the way, guys, I've built a career, a lifestyle and a retirement that most people would only dream about because I have taken that focus. I don't think a day goes by, guys, where I don't get a question. Is this a buy signal, Doug? Yeah, it looks like a buy signal on the daily chart. Should I confirm that on the 15 minute chart? No. What's going to happen when you try to trade multiple time frames? It's the same thing that's going to happen when you put too many indicators on the chart. You're going to have contradiction and so much contradiction, you'll be frozen and pretty soon you'll be unable to trade. If you want to be an intraday trader, then be an intraday trader. That's exactly right. That's exactly right, Ed. If you want to be a swing trader, be a swing trader. Decide, this is what I'm going to endeavor to be the very best I can be at. Once you've achieved success in one thing, then and only then, maybe consider trying to stretch yourself into something else. Okay. <clears throat> so give up the idea that you're going to be best at everything. It's a time trap. It will waste so much of your time. And how many of us have time to waste? We're all busy people, right? We don't have time to be an expert in everything. If you guys remember that there's a there's an old saying, you know how you know how you define expert? X in mathematics is an unknown, right? A spurt is a drip under pressure. So an expert is an unknown drip. 
we've got to give up that whole ego thing that we can be the smartest, best person in the room because we will never be smarter than the market. We will never attain the, the knowledge. If you look at a chart like um, Cisco, okay? Take any chart, it, it doesn't matter. Cisco just pops into my head. Um, you take a chart of Cisco. The price action that's in this chart represents all the knowledge of every person trading and every institution and every high frequency firm and every fund manager it represents their knowledge of the stock. We won't be smarter than the collective. Promise you that. We won't be. So pick something you're going to trade and work on a strategy that is simple and easy to identify that has a high expectancy rate. That's all you have to do. Okay, to start improving your trading. Clean up those charts and get simple. Stop all of this idea that we can be everything. How many of you would get into an airplane, <clears throat> crawl into a 747 with a pilot that says, you know, I fly 27 different varieties of aircraft. You're safe with me. Does that even make sense, guys? There isn't one of us that would probably get on that airplane. Because there's too much contradiction in how these airplane our aircraft fly. We wouldn't do it. Okay. So think about how you're clouding your trading with all of this stuff and honestly misinformation in your trading. Another time trap, guys, is we have to actively remove the distractions. One thing that I know for sure that affects me big time And that is um, news, CNBC, those kind of things. And I call it entertainment news, okay? If it wasn't entertainment news, guys, there wouldn't be all the dramatic bumpers and there wouldn't be all of the, the big drama and oh, boom, 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 um, market crashes, you know, all of that kind of junk. That affects me. Okay, I know that. I, I actually called, I, I have Dish Network here out in the boonies. I called Dish Network and said, remove Dish Network or remove CNBC and Fox Network from my feed. And they said, well, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. I said, I know it. I don't want it. I don't want it showing up at my house. Because I know that that affects me. I don't want to see it. How many of you have ever heard someone on CNBC say something and you go, well, that guy's got to be smarter than me. I better hurry up and go buy that and find out that it just cost you a whole bunch of money. I know I'm not the only one. Or how many of you have heard someone on CNBC or Fox Network that talks up the stock like crazy and then two or three days later you hear something about it again and now you you run across it in a chart and you go oh my gosh this must be right i've got to hurry up and buy this even though it goes against everything you believe in the trading world but we do that all the time chasing around the hot tip We need to eliminate those distractions from our life. They're time traps. They waste our time. They waste our energy in our trading. How about this one? Scans. Guys, I got to tell you, I wasted. I'm telling you, I wasted years. 
trying to be the smartest guy out there to write scans, trying to write the perfect scan. You know, Ed and I are kind of cut from the same cloth in a sense. And I know Ed would probably tell you he wasted a lot of time doing that until he finally realized you cannot write a perfect scan. There's no such thing as a perfect scan. But isn't it true we waste tons and tons of time trying to do that? Guys, I'm going to tell you, do this, and I'm telling you, don't waste your time on this, okay? You guys need to just suck it up and give the LTA scanner a shot. Because I'm telling you guys, you just turn this thing on and it brings you trades. No more writing scans, no more trying to do any of this goofy stuff. You can be as picky in here as you want. I keep all of my scans really, really simple, but you can be in picky as you want, but somebody else has already done the work for you. For 97 bucks, think, think about this, guys. Think about how much time you have wasted on this stuff. And it's here. Okay. 10 second sales pitch. LTA is going to go to $147 July 1. If you have ever had any thought of having an automatic scanner, and I'm talking automatic, simple as, as this. Turn on the scanner. Here, let me get this up. Turn on the scanner and look at all the pre programmed scans that we already have in here. Things that we know work, patterns that we trade. They're already here. You just click on it and open the window. It pays for itself over and over and over again. The time trap of scans. Guys, I am not joking on this. Probably costs me half a million dollars over the years because of the time I wasted trying to write the perfect scan, thinking that that was the silver bullet. Boy, if I could just get that perfect scan. There is no such thing. Go get the scanner. Avoid that time trap. Yeah, it works with any platform, Sandra. It works with any platform. Okay. And I'm not here to sell you that. I just wanted, that was part of my scans were something that just, I got, I got so involved in it, guys. I learned to write code. I could write custom indicators. I've got custom indicators on, on, um, Thinkorswim and TC2000. How much money did that make me? Zero. In fact, it cost me tons and tons of money of, in time and wasted opportunity. Don't do that. Avoid that. It will waste your trading career. I'm telling you, it's a money pit. Okay. What is another activity that we do during the, the day that we waste a tremendous amount of time doing? Hey, that's awesome, Frank, congrats. I'm telling you, LTA pays for itself over and over and over. It's the cheapest employee I've ever had doing the work for me. EMA, yes. EMA is right. One of the activities we tend to do as traders, and the reason we do this, guys, is because we don't have a plan and we don't trust our plan. If we do have a plan, we don't, we've just kind of 
followed someone else, freewheeled into a trade, gambled, essentially, buy and hope. And then we spend the rest of the day. Now tell me I'm not the only one. In fact, I'm sure everyone in here is guilty of this. Finally get into a positive trade and then do nothing the entire day but watch that candle tick around. Just type a Y if you've done that. Spent an entire day and got nothing done in that time trap. As a matter of fact, I would say that time trap destroys more traders than about any other time trap I've ever seen. Okay, it is a complete and total waste of time. Think about this for a second, guys. When you're watching that candle wiggle around, how many opportunities you missed all around you in the market because you couldn't take your eyes off of that one chart. My second favorite thing that I see people wasting tons and tons of time in is watching their brokerage, the, t the, the money tickers tick up and down and tick up and down and tick up and down all day. And at the end of the day, you got nothing done. Isn't it easy? Isn't it easy, guys, to convince yourself you've been busy all day, but when you look back and actually assess what you got done, you got nothing done but sitting in your chair with your arms crossed staring at a screen. It's a time trap. It will kill you in your trading. What happens when we stare at price like that? Has anybody ever stared a price like that and literally tucked yourself into a bad trade? Oh yeah, me too. Or how about staring at that chart and talk yourself out of a good trade? See, what that says, guys, is we're not following a plan. And even if we give lip service that we have a plan, we're not exercising the discipline to follow the plan, are we? I get questions almost every day. You still holding that trade? Yeah. Nothing has really changed. Yeah, but it pulled back. Yeah. It's still within my plan. I'm still holding the trade. And you know, guys, the only reason I know I'm still holding the trade is because I haven't gotten an alert that the stop loss has been triggered or that the profit target's been triggered. It's the only way I know. I know. Because during the day, I look at my brokerage account right after the market opens, and sometimes I don't look at my brokerage account for the rest of the day. I don't look at it. See, in the morning before the market opens, I make sure and have all of my stops set where they're supposed to be, adjusted, evaluated. All of those are in place. My plan, I have profit targets, and I take them. I don't waste time Staring at a chart trying to squeeze a couple more pennies out of a trade. I don't do it. It hits my goal, I'm out. See ya. Okay. So I don't look at it. What I do to, to resolve things in my mind is every single morning before the market opens, I evaluate the market condition and I adjust and manage every single position I'm in before the market opens. Now I'm ready to trade. 
as a matter of fact, now I'm ready to do my job. And what's my job? Not to stare at trades that I've already got a plan on. They're done. What's my job? Find the next trade. Right? Find the next one. And the one after that and the one after that. And you're not doing that when you're staring at tickers or watching candles tick around. You're wasting your day. Massive time trap. Not only that, it's, an, it's a massive emotional trap. Would you guys agree when you stare at that stuff, it's not only frustrating and tiring, but it builds emotion in you. And we've already admitted by doing that, we've talked ourselves into trades we shouldn't have had or talked ourselves out of trades we should have kept because we didn't follow a plan. We were wasting our day in that time trap. Okay. <clears throat> unprepared trading unprepared trading is another massive time trap for traders you know one of the things I try to do and I've always tried to do in all of my businesses and everything I've ever done is try to be as efficient as possible and as I go along in that business I try to improve all the time I try to get a little bit better, a little bit sharper, a little bit quicker, a little bit more focused, a little bit more prepared. Okay? But what do most traders do? They get up in the morning. The market's about to open. They're still wiping the sleep out of their eyes set down in front of their computer and what do we do chase all day long chase we're just rushing around we're chasing every anything popping up we're rushing to it we're chasing it and yet we have no clue whether or not that's even a stock we want to trade man I'm telling you guys I wasted so much time doing that Anytime we're in a rush and we're chasing around like that, always chasing the signal that's popping, it builds that anticipation. Oh, you get in that rush. I got to hurry up and buy something. Got to hurry up and buy something. Got to hurry up and buy something. Right? The reason that occurs, guys, is because we're unprepared. Okay. One of the things that I do, and this started back way before I could say that I was even confident in my trading. And I had to do this because I was working full time. Is I committed to myself 30 to 45 minutes every night when the market's closed and no distractions. But I'm looking at charts and preparing for the next day. Most folks in right-way options would tell you, if I haven't seen a stock and it pops and runs, I'm really not interested in it. Congratulations to whoever had it or owned it. Awesome. I'm not interested in it because I wasn't ready for it. I'm not prepared and I am not going to chase it. The trades I take are trades that come from my watch list. My watch list that's qualified, meaning that I know these are pretty good trends. I know that these stocks have pretty good options in them if I'm gonna be trading them with options. And I already have a marked up alerts prepared for a potential trade. I don't chase the market. 
Would you guys agree that in the room, symbols get posted and all day long, it's just a mad dash? Anybody feel this way? That at the end of the day, you're just exhausted. You've rushed all day long. But at the end of the day, realize that really nothing got accomplished. You didn't improve anything. You didn't get any better. You didn't make any money. You didn't, nothing got better. Your watch list didn't grow. It didn't change. You didn't evolve it. You didn't advance it. Every single day, I'm looking to improve my watch list by marking it up, making sure these are the stocks that I'm interested in. That keeps me much more efficient, and it keeps me more level and grounded in what I'm doing. Most trades come to me, I don't rush to them. Because I come to the market prepared. Consider this, guys. When, we're, when we trade the market, all we're doing, it's just a competition. There's one winner and one loser. Okay? Success goes to those that are prepared. That's all there is to it. It's really that simple. If you put yourself in the position of winning, if you've prepared, you have a better chance of coming out a winner at the other side. But isn't it true what we spend most of our time doing is just chasing around things? We're reacting rather than being ready. I hope that makes some sense to you because I'm telling you guys, these things changed my life. These time traps, eliminating these things, working to be more efficient, working to be more focused makes the difference. Has anyone in Right Way Options ever heard me be any kind of an emotional basket case ever? Those are the reasons why about stocks. <laughs> Good answer, Alan. <laughs> exactly, because that's where my focus is. And, and I try to work really hard at being prepared. In fact, folks in Right Way Options will tell you that there are mornings when I come in, I haven't had a chance. Something's occurred. I haven't had a chance to look at stocks whatever. And I just say, you know what, guys, I'm not interested in trading today. I'm not ready. I make that self-evaluation every single morning. Are you ready to trade? Are you prepared? Now let's talk about days like today. Days like today, the market gaps up and then virtually goes nowhere. But how many of you today just spent the whole day trying to dig out just one trade? Boy, I got to find something. And you even compromised yourself because there wasn't that many good looking trades except those that are really high priced like Amazon and Apple and Google and those kind of things. You've even compromised yourself and tucked yourself into a trade that wasn't that great a trade because, man, I got to do something today. Now, let's think about this for a second. If we're trying to improve as traders every single day, if the market is providing this kind of price action, is it efficient for us to be trying to dig out the one or two maybe possible trades that have somewhat of a good pattern going on. If it's that hard to find a good trade, 
Do you think maybe it might not be a very good day to trade? But isn't it true? That's what we spent our entire day trying to do. Digging and scratching and trying to find one thing that we could do today. But instead, we could have been learning something new about the strategy we tried. We could have been evaluating our past trades and find the mistakes that we're making consistently and improve ourselves as a trader. Just about every day I get questions on how to use the trading software, the brokerage platform. I don't understand this order. I don't understand how to use the charting platform. Days like today, guys, to be efficient, the great thing to do is have yourself a checklist, a list of things that you're trying to accomplish. Every single day, guys, right here on my desk, I have a daily schedule. Things I'm trying to accomplish in the day. That's just simple business. There's no nothing fancy about that. There's, you know, I don't deserve a pat on the back. That's just business, right? Things that you want to improve on. Things that you need to check into. On days like this, It's a good time to advance your skills, to learn, to grow yourself as a trader, rather than trying to fight a market that's going nowhere. I hope that makes some sense. Because one of the things I always try to do is be efficient in my day. I want to see something at the end of the day completed. Okay, something that I got done, something I got accomplished, something I learned, somehow I grew in my business. And one of the time traps we often do is we try to force trades when we really should be finding something else to do. Right? A honeydew list every day, that's right. Wouldn't you agree that today you probably could have been more efficient by even shutting off your computer and go completing some of those tasks that have been kind of hitting you in the back of the head that you need to get done? Because today was kind of a waste. That's a time trap where we're wasting our, t our days, our time. And by the way, guys, as traders, one of the great things, one of the great advantages we have as traders is the freedom to make those decisions about our business. You know what? Today's not a good day. Doesn't look like it's going to be a good day. I'm going to go find something more productive to do whether it be studying something. It might be just asking me a question. Doug, can you explain um, a ratio spread? Absolutely. Be happy to. Learning something new. Okay. Asking Rick, Rick, could you show me a little bit more detail on the rounded bottom breakout? He'd be happy to explain it to you. Ed, I'm a little bit concerned. I, you know, I'm running the, the LTA scanner, but I have a few things I'm just not quite sure on. Could you help me with that? We want to help you with those things. We want to help you improve as a trader. Be efficient on those days when the market's just not handing us much. Don't waste our day. Don't, well, not waste my day, but don't waste your day. And, and, um, trying to scratch something out when there's really nothing going on. 
Okay. So those are some of the things that off the top of my head that really affected me. And, and I got to tell you, when I, when I started making those changes, when I started cleaning up my charts, when I stopped trying to be the master of every trading strategy out there, when I got focused into one simple plan, when I quit trying to be the smartest guy in the room by writing the perfect scan and had this ego on my shoulder. And by the way, I'm really ashamed of this. Honestly, I'm ashamed of this. 20 years ago, you asked me anything about trading. I would, I, I would have convinced every one of you I was the smartest guy out there. Must be, boy, I knew I studied everything. I did everything. I went everywhere. I knew the, I know this and I know that and I know that. And let me tell you what happened, guys. I made no money. Not only was I not the smartest trader, I was the dumbest dude in the book because I let my ego get ahead of making money. I'm ashamed of that. Wasted a lot of time. Okay, working every day to try and improve as a trader. Well, Cam, when we gapped up and we spent the good portion of the day, and we did have a little bit of a trading range here. If you're a day trader, there was some activity in here for a day trader. It was pretty obvious really early on, unless there was a news event that changed something, today was gonna to be a stinker. There just wasn't any, there just wasn't any momentum in the market. Okay. Now, can you make the decision, you know, the market stinks today, I'm not going to trade, and then a news event occurs and it turns out to be a great day? Yes. That can be possible. That can happen. All right. But if you've improved yourself as a trader, you've accomplished something rather than just wasting a day here. You know, one of the things I, I hated, I, by the way, guys, I, I tried to be a day trader. Did it for four years. Um, I made money at it. I can day trade, but you know what? I hated my life. I absolutely hated my life. I, I would just dread getting up to go do it. I was making money, but I hated it every single day I was doing it. Because there were days I would wait the entire day, no trades. Complete day, shot, nothing, nothing happened. And I wasted my entire day. Be sitting there watching, watching, watching. Man, I got to get up. I got to go to the bathroom. Get up and go to the bathroom, come back, and the trade of the day was over. I hated it. So I knew that wasn't me. I'm not good at just watching things grind around. And by the way, you guys know this. I have all kinds of price alerts. If my computer starts going off with a car horn sound, something's happening in the market. I can stop what's taking my attention and look and focus at what's going on in the market because my alerts are bringing me back to the market because I'm prepared. Okay. I hope that helps. I hope you guys got something out of this. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask.
I just see so much time, so many people spinning their wheels, rushing around when it's really the simple things that need to be corrected first. Okay. The simple things that we need to correct. <clears throat> Keeping an eye on LTA is very helpful when you all of a sudden see, and by the way, you don't need tons and tons of scans. Honestly, if you have four or five scans, you probably got as much as you're gonna be able to handle anyway. But if all of a sudden you see that scanner really start ripping in one direction or the other, might want to go check your chart and find out what's going on. You're probably going to have alerts kicking off on your charts. Well, I wouldn't say, Larry, that, you know, if you, let's say you use Thinkorswim, for example. There's tons of things in Thinkorswim I never use. So do I need to waste time learning those? Probably not. But what you want to do is all of those things that are critical to you. You know, say for example, you don't know how to use a conditional order. One of the first things I'd be trying to figure out how to do. I'd be on the phone with Thinkorswim. How do I do this? And by the way, I pestered the crap out of them when I was new to Thinkorswim all the time. On the phone, talking to them on chat. I'm not sure how to do this. Oh, well, you do it this way. Or they'd send me a video link and say, watch this. I pestered them to death until I learned the things that I needed to know about the platform. Same thing is true of TC2000. Customer service there probably had a th thing that they passed around. Oh, you got Campbell again. Because I was determined to be very proficient on the software. And so I pestered him and learned until I felt that I had that. Okay. Thank you, Robbie. I appreciate that. And, and I'm really glad that meant something to you because if you can start picking up on some of these time traps, we can make ourselves much more efficient in our trading. And here's the thing, guys. When you're more efficient, when you're more focused, when you're more dedicated to your plan, you actually enjoy what you do more. I know that sounds contradictory but everyone and I mean everyone is happier within a framework within a structure we know what we're supposed to do when we're supposed to do it and how we're supposed to do it that gives us comfort it gives us confidence it gives us the ability to move forward we enjoy what we do much more when we feel prepared To come to work today prepared for the day we feel more confident right if you're not ready for the day you start your day off unbalanced you're always playing catch-up That's awesome, Barry. Yes, I am recording this. Um, like I say, there's not going to be much for visual here. It's all conversation, but um, I will make it available if you guys want to watch it again. So I hope you took some notes on this stuff and you're, you're applying those things and seeing those things in your trading that you could start to work to improve. And, and remember, guys, we're never going to reach perfection. It's okay to, I'm never going to be perfect. 
I'm, I'm always a work in progress. Okay. But if every day I can try to improve a little bit, I gain this little teeny tiny edge in the market. I gain a little bit more confidence in my trading. And here's um, the very last piece. And, and I'll tell you guys, this was really tough for me because I, I told you I had that nasty ego about my trading was to develop the discipline to just simply, simply stay within my plan. Do what I do. I already told you guys, I do two things. I find a trend. I wait for the stock to show me a move up. I wait for the pullback for a trade. And I try to find an entry. Or I wait for the stock to move up and consolidate over to trend, and I look for an entry. Those are the things I do. I stay within my plan. I stay within my lane. I'm not driving all over the place. I'm not trying to be everything. Okay. Uh, Sandra, you don't have to be a member up until July 1. You have the opportunity to get LTA scanner for 97 bucks. You don't have to be a member. Okay. July 1, it's 147. Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. Um, to view this, um, yeah, there's nothing visual on here, so I didn't think I'd probably put it on YouTube. Um, I, I don't know. Ed, are you, uh, are you listening? Maybe we can find a place on the website where um, it can be accessed. Awesome, awesome, I'm glad you did. Okay. Any other questions that I can ask for you guys or answer? Uh, you, you know, isn't that true, Barry? We only have a finite amount of money. But isn't it funny we're trying to catch every single stock out there? We're racing around trying to find every single stock. I, um, we've only got so much money that we can trade with. And that's why I narrow my list to, to my watch list alone, and, and that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, Sandra, if you look for me on YouTube, um, here, let me give you, I'll let you see it here. Um, here's the site. Let me give you the, the easy link. Whoops, that's not it. I didn't get it copied. In fact, what I did was copied, there we go. I'm an idiot. Instead of a control C, I did a control V. There, it's the link I want. Anyone that's not subscribed to my YouTube channel, if you guys would do me a favor, if you could go over there and subscribe, um, I appreciate it. I try to put out quality content like this. Hopefully what you see from us here at Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options is we're not all about the hype and we're not all about the prediction and we're not all about the, you know, shoot and flare, I'm the greatest trader in the world. That's all baloney. Okay. We're just simple traders just like you are. Like I said, I'm an old carpenter with a bad back just happened to figure out a way to make money and make a career out of trading the market. Uh, yearly, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, Rick, 
<clears throat> Rick has gone from, you know, a stock only trader to almost all options. As a matter of fact, I don't think he's traded a stock in a long time after he, he kind of saw the light of options. What he does do is he limits his trading to just long calls and long puts, but he is a great chart analyst, okay? So yeah, I think you could probably benefit from both. And one of the things that we've done is, you know, Rick comes on in the morning and then he takes off and had to, kind of takes this long lunch period. And that's usually when I'm on the mic. Okay, so it, it, we've kind of got this balance thing going that works really well. Oh, hey, Every. Um, you know, the ones that I, I truly love um, are these 3-8 um, Trap with uh, V-Stop. I really like those. Um, I, um, uh, there's a new one that uh, Rick and Ed just put out here just the other day. It's called a breakout. And I'm running this one right now against the entire market. But I got to tell you, this is really cool. It pulls up stocks like this that are breaking out. How cool is that? So if you can catch them just as they're breaking out or starting to pop up, set an alert, wait for the trade, you can catch those trades pretty easily. As a matter of fact, what we're going to try and do is we're, um, I was talking to Rick about this, is we're going to try and use the breakout and add the 3-8 trap to this so that we get the pop, the breakout, and then the 3-8 trap that shows up in the breast or pullback that occurs. So essentially, we're looking for not this signal. This is too late. We're looking for that signal right there right off a trend. Um, I run quite a few scans just because I'm, I'm presenting and um, a lot of people are um, asking, trading a lot of different ways in the room. So I try to provide a lot of different um, potential opportunities out there. But to be honest, 3A trap, 3A trap is what I trade, okay? It's the pullback opportunity or the consolidation. It's the 3-8 traps that I trade every single day. Even when I look at a rounded bottom breakout scan, and I love the rounded bottom breakout. Okay, that's another one I run all the time, the rounded bottom breakout. But I'll tell you the truth, guys. When I see a rounded bottom breakout, the first thing I'm going to do is decide, is there a 3-8 trap setting up within the rounded bottom breakout? Because I'm just that simple trader. I want to be the best I can be at those just, just those simple things that I do. Okay. Keep it simple. Don't over, I mean, seriously. Um, and by the way, guys, just, let me give you this. Um, I talked about this quite a bit in the 3 8 trap class that I did. Um, all week long, I'm refining my watch list. Those 30 minutes to 45 minutes at night, I'm kicking stocks off of my watch list and I'm putting new stocks in my watch list that qualify for me. And what I mean by qualify, they fit me personally. They fit my price range. Stocks that I can actually trade. I don't want to waste time with Apple and Amazon. Well, I can trade Apple, but... I doubt that I'm ever going to be doing much trading in Amazon unless it's credit spreads or something like that. I just don't like spending that kind of money on a trade. Okay, so it's a waste of time for me to look at it. I unlikely am going to trade it. So it doesn't go on my list. If it's a really, really cheap stock, three or four dollars, probably not going to be on my list because they're going to have terrible options. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to weed them out. I'm going to make sure that they have good options, good open interest, that they fit me personally. So all week long, I'm refining my list. I'm drawing it up. I'm trying to make it more complete. And then every Sunday, every Sunday, I open up the LTA scanner. I go to Tools, Manage User Defined Watch List. 
I come over to my optional watch list and I paste in the new list. That's all I do. Okay. My list varies quite a bit, some somewhere between 150 to up to 300, depending on what the market's doing. But I paste them in here. And that's all I do. And then from there on out, the scanner does the work for me. So every Sunday, my list is refreshed. Um, ever, um, ever, yeah, there's tons of videos on the LTA scanner. Um, just a second here. If you go right here, this is our website for the LTA scanner. Go to livetradingalerts.com. Okay, come over here to resources. And go to the video library. All of these are videos about the LTA scanner. How to set up a scan. Ed does these videos every week. All this information about the LTA scanner. You'll know, you watch, you watch, uh, you know, even half of these videos. You'll know more about it than I do. Okay. Oh yeah, the the t coupon for TC two thousand. Yeah, just a second. Um, if anyone is interested in TC two thousand, if you use this this link right here, um, it saves you twenty five bucks on TC two thousand. So just a little bonus, nothing nothing major, but it'll save you a little bit of money for TC2000. So go to LiveTradingAlerts.com, go to resources, tons, tons and tons and tons, lots and lots of information on the LTA scanner. Do I have a trade plan? Yes, I do. My trade plan sits on my desk every single day and every Sunday my trade plan gets updated and what I mean by that is I go through this is a copy of something I used for um, the 3-8 trap class okay I have mine mine is got all kinds of written notes and stuff in here um, I've actually transferred it to, to the computer and every week I print one of these off and I go through and I recalculate my goals. This sets on my desk every day. I plan trades every single day. I plan work to stay within my plan every single day. Okay, and I highly recommend that everyone does that. Okay. Um, do I have any specials for the trading rooms? Sandra, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give everybody here. We don't actually have a special going on right now, but You use that coupon code at checkout on any level of membership, whether it be hit run candlesticks or right way options. And it'll save you 50% on the list price on the website. Half off, how's that for you? Oh, you're welcome. 
No, it's not, Christo. It's not. It's say 50%. Okay. Now that doesn't work on the LTA scanner. That's just for membership to the trading rooms. Okay. It doesn't work on coaching or anything else. It's just membership to the, to the trading rooms. Well, every single day, every, um, like I say, it's important for me 30 to 45 minutes every day after the market's closed and I have no other distractions that I'm going through my watch list and focusing on charts that are setting up. Okay, so my watch list is refined throughout the week. It's just on Sunday that I, every week, instead of doing it every day, I just, I do it every, every week. Okay, on Sunday, I transfer my watch list, my new watch list to the LTA scanner. Okay, so just every Sunday, and I do that because that's when I'm preparing for my week. That's when I fill out my, my new trade sheet for the week. Okay, so every single day, I am, um, I am working to improve. On my watch list and then all I do is run my watch list through the LTA scanner I don't have anything on making a trade sheet but Christo if you go to the uh, go to the YouTube channel there are several videos that I've done on um, planning um, creating a plan those kind of things, several videos on that, and even down to specific trade planning. Okay. Oh, there's been lots of, lots of books, you know. One that I really liked was a book, Trading in the Zone. Um, that's one of those that, you know, kind of helped me to improve my efficiency, the importance of efficiency in my trading. Um, you know, in, in options, um, when I was first learning options, a book that I really liked was Options Made Easy. I also, for a long, long time, I listened to a lot of um, self-improvement things, you know, stuff from, you guys ever heard of Zig Ziglar? Stuff with from guys like Zig Ziglar on um, attitude, focus, um, those kind of things. Um, you know, just that personal improvement stuff. A uh, yearly, yeah. Um, actually, if you could ask me that question tomorrow in the room, um, I'll have to go search for it, but I can get you a link where you can get that. Okay. Remind me of that, and it'll take me a few minutes, but if you, and that's why I say remind me tomorrow, and I'll find it for you. Okay. If you take anything away from this class tonight, guys, it's to work to improve your trading by eliminating eliminating these things that waste your time. They they steal your energy. They rob your creativity. They rob you of focus. If you can start to slowly eliminate those things that are killing your time, get simple in your trading. 
get focused into a plan and you will see your trading improve. Okay. You will see. Okay. Your trading improve. I'm, I'm so confident of that. You know, um, the market doesn't care if we make money or we lose money. Nobody's out there trying to pick on you. Success comes to those who work the hardest and are the most prepared for the trade because we are in competition with every other trader in the market. You can't come half, half ready. You can't come unprepared. You come to the market unprepared and you're going to lose money. Okay, there's no secret here, guys. There's no magic bullet. Got to do the work and you got to go through got to go through these steps so eliminate those time traps so that you can get there faster get focused into a plan and get to work on those things that you need to fix because believe me even though it's work I know it seems like oh it's such a daunting task believe me at the end of this it's worth it it's worth it trust me on that Thank you, Christo. I appreciate it very much. Those kind of things mean a lot to me when people see some value. And, and you know, the whole purpose of what I do in, in Right Way Options, what I do in, in the morning market prep, and I really truly believe this, guys, is it's all about traders helping traders improve. It's not about me. It's working with other traders to try and help each other. And by the way, guys, people help me. We work as a team to help each other improve. All right. Let's help each other. Be part of the team. All right. Help someone else and you'll learn more about your trading than you ever learned in your life. I promise you that. Help one other person with their trading and you will learn more about you and your trading than you'll ever, ever learn anywhere else. Very re rewarding to help other folks. All right, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic rest of your evening. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening to me kind of drone along here for an hour and a half with no fancy graphics or anything like that. But I hope, I hope you got something great out of this. I hope you got something meaningful that can help you improve as a trader. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Richie, Mike, T, Christo. Y'all take care. Have a great evening. Be safe. Be safe. Watch it. This COVID thing is uh, creeping back up. So let's be careful. Be safe. Protect yourself and your family. We want you around, all right? Y'all take care. Have a great evening.